Hello and welcome back to Valheim. And let's see what we are going to do if I can get my camera back. There we go. What we are going to do is first off go through what I've been doing off camera for starters. Which is, if we go in here and take a look, I now have 134 silver ore and 175 silver ingots. So I have a lot of silver laying around to be used. I have also gone through and done a few signs to show quickly what I need in terms of resources all the things I want to do and I have also decided more exactly more precisely what I want as food which is wolf jerky sausage and ice cream And other than that, what I need to do is basically prep and get ready for the next boss. And what I have done is also deliver two eggs to where the spawner is. And um, I just need to go and get the third and last egg, which I have made it to be the closest one. And I did explore a little bit of camera, but nothing new to see. I did come across a sea serpent, which is why we have sea uh, serpent meat laying around. But let's ignore <laughs> the fact that I have something which I technically shouldn't have and see what we can do in here right i also made some medium healing potions a me mead since it's not actually potions but whatever um but yeah i made a batch of four and they do What's the difference? Health, 75 instead of 50. So, 25 more HP. And I figured out how this works, which um, I could easily have figured out if I saw the lever. <laughs> so, just to very quickly go through how it actually works... Um, one piece of wood so basically if you have something you want to get rid of you take it put it into the obliterator and pull the lever and then you wait and boom and apparently you can't have it too close to other buildings i think it's limited to wood yeah most likely that is the case but regardless that is how that works So, might have to move that. Um, anyway, what I need to do now is prepare as much as I can. Which means... Which means moving... What is it? 138 silver, so... I need... Uh, 90... 120, 150. Let's take that. I 
Let's store it in here for the time being. Then I need a bit of everything. It's um did a bit of uh, organizing as well off camera because it wasn't really that well um, organized so I made sure it was at least a little bit better I need a tiny amount of fine wood I also need guck, which is in here. I need 20 ancient bark. I also actually um, managed to, because I needed to go to the swamp, and apparently they have added, not sure when they did, but they have added a new enemy, which dropped some new things. Let's see if I can find it. There, roots. Which seemed interesting, but I'm not sure how balanced they are. They were rather tanky. And did a lot of damage. Um, let's go and check. What do I need? My flesh. Oh, right. I need five iron as well. Which I have moved over to here. I need... Right, I need Freeze Gland and Drake Trophy. I need two of them. Um, the Freeze Gland should be somewhere here. There they are. Um, five, I think. It was. I think. I think, I think, yep. Yeah. Then I need Wolf Fang and Wolf Pelt. And that should be all. Let's see. Nope. Nope. I did manage to actually get acorns from oak, so I can actually plant plant some oak trees. But I think they are rather rare because Took a while to get some. Seven of you. Four of you. And I think. Just maybe. Should have all of it now. That should be... There we go. Repaired everything. And what I want to do is... Wolf armor legs. I also want to make the... Drag fangs, so the bow. I want to make the drake helmet. Yes. I want to make the silver shield. And I think I want to make the Frostner as well. Yeah, yeah. And I do want to make the Silver Sword. All oh, right, I need two wood. Okay, I'll go get that later. But for now, I need to make the Wolf Armor Legs. 
There we go. I need to make Drake helmet. I need to make the Draug Fang. The Frostner. And do note, I have used almost all the silver I had. And I still haven't upgraded every, anything. So, yeah. What style of shield are we going to go with? Mm, yeah, sure. Let's go with that. And... Yep. Boom. Boom. And I need to do that. Get myself two pieces of wood and make the silver sword. Silver knife, silver sword. Important to make the correct one because. And yeah, there we go. I took 12 ingots too much, but that's fine. What I want to do at this point, I think, is starting off, replacing all the stuff, and, um, yep, so we have gone up, I think, a, a bit in armor. Yeah, slightly. And then, um, uh, this one, that one, that one. Important thing when it comes to um, certain things is to actually keep them. For example, now all of the, like these old things I could just take them and remove them like the copper and not copper the bronze stuff I could just remove and have the old iron gear here instead I never made an iron sword right yeah, I never made an iron sword, which is fine, but that. And then this should be stored. That one can be kept. So yeah, keeping your old armor is important, but you don't necessarily need to keep a really really old set of armor so for example when you go from bronze to iron you keep the bronze one but when you go from iron to silver you can scrap the bronze and keep the iron cycle this way we can get some bronze back, which is actually really good because I need to um, I actually need to make sure I have some of it.
But anyway, there we go. We now have the Frostner. The Silver Sword and the Silver Shield. And the Drag Fang. I think that's it other than the armor as well. Yeah, so full silver armor and full like silver tier weapons. What I need to do now is sadly to upgrade all of it. Which will require... Oh. Stuff. It requires stuff. Yeah, I think what I'm going to have to do is see if I can um, smelt a bit more. I could, technically speaking, make more smelters, but um, I don't know. At um, not really that much slower now I'm wondering if I want to use a different arrow I'm not sure to be honest I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep on going with all with as much preparation as I can and then off camera until I need to uh, off camera do this so I can in the next episode fight the boss now what do I need what am I looking for Let's take a look at food. I need wolf jerky, which is wolf meat and honey. That's done. Sausages, I have all of that. No problem. And then ice cream, which is freeze gland and a bunch of eyes. That shouldn't be any issues either. Let's take 10 of you. 10 of you. All of that. Other than like one of them. And let's take a stack of silver. Let's upgrade as much as we can. Now, the next boss is one of the bosses that has been like bug fixed and buffed the most um so i suspect it's going to be a lot harder than i remember from when i first did it but more armor is 
going to be needed. So let's upgrade all of the armor bits at least once. And then... Let's see. The, the Frostner is... 35, 40, 20. All right. It's the frost bit that is upgraded for the frost. And that's why it's not a good thing to upgrade. Because it's not the physical damage. It's, it's the frost damage, which doesn't actually do anything. It'll do very little. Anyway, let's upgrade it once, because it's not bad, and let's put on our clothes again, clothes again, and yeah, 67. I think I want to be above 70, at least. Right, uh, I need... this it's a wolf jerky let's make a full stack of 20. i wish i could do craft all but yeah not a thing sadly and the ice cream. Oh, right, right. I actually forgot to bring the ice. And it's a stack of 10, which I sort of suspected it was going to be. I'm going to be a bit frugal with um, this food. This is going to be more the boss food for now. And then I need sausages. Let's make sure we don't mix this up. Bull meat, the soul. Uh, entrails. Here we go. So let's see, what I need is more silver. Um, but if I'm, yeah, I need more, need more coal. Wood, two stacks of wood, I love the mod which allows me to fill the inventory of, um, of things that requires fuel and stack it full because Oh my god, would it have been annoying otherwise? Then I will just wait for one of the silver ingots to drop out. 
because that means it will actually finish um if you don't do that if you don't wait for the first ingot to drop out and then refill the coal it's not going to finish the last ingot not sure why it technically should but it just doesn't there we go and i will see what i can do with upgrading what am i missing right i'm missing i'm missing wood i'm missing iron and i'm also missing little scraps and dehyde if i rem remember correctly and of course i'm missing the silver of course so let's go and pick up the 20 which I should have had on me to begin with. There we go. And uh, if we take a look on the silver sword, it's 75 slash and 30 spirit. And if we upgrade it, upgrade it once, it will be 81 slash and 35 spirit. It's expensive to upgrade, yes, but it's actually really good. So let's upgrade that once at least. And then... I do want to upgrade my bow a bit. So I think what I'm going to do off camera is do a lot of the upgrading and that kind of prep which needs to be done technically and um, hopefully be as ready as I can possibly be for the boss to do the boss in the next episode let's take a look at arrows i have laying around in here which is here now just normal wood arrows like wood arrows has a piece of 22. Iron Head has 42. Flint has 27. Now, going from wood to flint doesn't really do that much. Going from wood to Iron Head, however, does do a fair bit. So I wonder if I should go with the iron head arrows. Now, the question is, how expensive are you to make? I could make obsidian. Yeah, I could make obsidian arrows, which are even better. To have just for the boss. Don't think I can make. It 
might be the case that I can't make the iron head ones. Oh, I need... No, I need to make them here. Right. Right. Um, they cost one iron ingot. Ooh, that's rather expensive. Yeah, I wonder if I want to maybe go and get some obsidian. I do have six. Yeah, I think I want to go and get some obsidian to get some obsidian arrows. And, uh, yeah. Anyway. That is this industrious morning. Industrious looking morning uh, as an ending. We are going to put as much effort into making the last bits of camera. As, as I can um, so I'm going to upgrade as much as I feel like I need to I'm going to get arrows get all the food and potions all of that and go through most of the things that I think you need and want to have uh, before heading off and starting up the boss uh, in the next episode so that is that now as you could see i have used a lot of silver i still have a lot of silver ore because i anticipated needing a lot um but yeah i used up like 200 silver and i don't feel like i'm ready yet so if you can take away anything from this is you're going to need a lot of silver and a lot of resources to upgrade and prep for the boss and this boss can be really hard considering you're fighting on a on a mountain so a lot of potions a lot of armor good weapons food is going to be required so for now we are going to ask that you like the video because that would be super awesome and nice if you did and with that, thanks for watching, goodbye, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.